Hey guys, this is Shark here. Um, I've been searching YouTube recently on the Stargate add-on, see if there's been any updates for it, and I don't think there has. The best, the best um, explanation of all the new stuff doesn't even include the SGC screens, which today I've decided to dem demonstrate. Okay, let's get into it. So um, you don't have to do this, but I like my um, gates to have ramps with them because you know. <laughs> So spawn a ramp. Let me turn down my audio way down because that was loud. Spawn a ramp, and uh, you get out any gate you want. I personally like this gate. I like their gate. Uh, you can set the address. You should already know how to do that. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. And Milky Way. And uncheck the other. Okay. So that's how you set the gate. Power, easy, done. Now to look at Stargate, you should be, that should be all about this, and this should be all about that. But, can't because it was on the That's not what we're testing. That is not what we are testing today. I already know it works. I also already know this works. So you can choose, just go to, to use the SGC screens. Go over here, it has a bunch of options. I personally like either this one, or this one, but for testing purposes, so you can see it, I'm using this one. There's a bunch of different options over here also. I usually click auto weld, that way I don't have to actually physically weld it to the world, it'll just be there. Auto connect in your server. The server is, let me get rid of this first. The server is, if you can see on the top left, it says SG screen spawner, creates SGC screen and SGC server. Left click to spawn the screen, right click to spawn the server. So we will, will left click to spawn the screen, and we will right click to spawn the server. You see how it turns black? That means it's automatically connected. You press E on it to turn it on. And then you, you can change anything up here. But um, I, I suggest having these checked. That way it'll automatically connect everything. This is optional if you don't. But it's recommend. I recommend it, and if you want to change the screens, oh, the screen was off. <laughs> yeah, you can press E on the screen itself to turn it on and off. Right now, it's on the gate active screen. By default, you press Control, and you use the arrow keys to go up and down. We're going to go to dialing computer, and you press Alt to get out of it. So that's the basic. Uh, to dial, you just type in where you want to dial. So we're just going to dial the desert. So it's uh, D E S T R P. Let me turn my vol. Let me turn my volume down. Oh, it's not as loud for you guys as it is for me. I'm gonna turn mine down too. I don't have to speak loud. Um, turn it down a little more. Oh, I can still hear what I'm saying. But with this type of dialing system, you can't automatically go over here and then click that. It doesn't have this option. You can't dial fast. It's the normal SGC, like what you see in the TV show and the movies. It's the slow dial, so we'll just kind of let it continue dialing. That way you can see that works. As you can see, I'll put that stuff there. Now, you notice, it does the earth symbol automatically, it'll do that with any gate, no matter what. But, it's not the same over here. So, you change the um, point of origin to earth or Abydos, it's at, on a, my default. I do earth, because, you know, it, it matches and uh, whatnot. So, uh, there's different SGC screens, I'm just going to 
put them all over here. There's a uh, dialing computer, address book, that's the gate active screen. Gate data monitor. Gate integrity monitor. This screen, the gate integrity monitor, is for your um, iris. I will actually go ahead and put one on there. Just gonna do that real quick. It'll automatically connect, so you don't really need to do anything except for the tip of the code. This is my code. I don't know why I like that code, I just do, and it fits all the digits, so. I like auto close, and I usually set it to 10 seconds. Automatically connected. I'll show you the example of the iris screen later in a minute. Gate integrity model. Galaxy map. I like this one. It shows all the current gates. Like the one green lit, green light is the one we're at. The others are the um, various stargates map. The red ones are the blocked ones. Like the lava one over there. You can't actually dial it. You can dial it through the DHD, but you can't go into the active menu and dial it. Seventh Chevron, that was an easy one. It just shows you the seventh Chevron. It just shows you the seventh Chevron dialing thing right there. The camera. Energy output. That one makes noise. That's all the screens for it. I'm gonna go. If you wanna. You just, you know. Backspace to. Shut down the gate. Now I'm gonna show you the iris. Iris thingy. Stargates. And DHD. Go ahead and do a quick dial. See, it says a caution incoming traveler. On off world activation, device active, they all light up. All of them. But uh, you have to go to obviously misc weapons. You are at the Stargate. You enter the code. And this will happen. It'll actually analyze the code and let you in. But since I said for 10 seconds, it's only going to be open for 10 seconds. And then you can press. Go into here and press backspace. See? And oh, this is this is a nice feature that they added. So if you go into weapons, NACLA bomb. Just you don't don't set this. Just set the charge duration and yield. I'm not I'm not actually I'm not going to set it, set it very much. I'm going to spawn it right there. I'm going to press hold C on this. Codes manager. See, I have my code in there. This is just to test something else. Actually, move that. I have my code in here. Codes in here. The self destruct code and reset code. Now, watch what happens if you go. You have to go to the gate active screen. screen. The default button is F1. It'll bring up this. You type in your code. You press enter, standing by, and then now you press F1. You see? It'll count down, all the screens will flash self destruct. You notice this is also counting down. So this will go off in approximately 4 minutes 46 seconds. So I'm not going to let that happen. In order to disarm it, you just type in your code. So your deactivation code, mine is 199. Oh. Backspace in case any errors. One nine nine seven one nine nine four five, and then you just press enter, and it'll be done, and it'll just turn off. But uh, I like that feature. That's a nice feature. So I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm gonna move you. Up. 
So, um, that, that's basically it. That's how you set it up. You just have to spawn the server. If you want to, you can take the server and actually hit it across the gate. But since it's art, since I have it already auto connected, it won't do anything because I could actually set it against this gate. Did that do anything? I wonder if that did anything. No, that didn't do anything. So that's the Irish code stuff. Uh, pretty neat. Or the SGC screens. It's just, it's that simple. Not really much to that. It's just every time I spawn, like here. Yeah, I'm going to an advanced duplication. Here. This is space build stuff. So, uh, I don't have a DHC because I'm using this for power, and it's really great on power because I can dial the ninth chevron pretty easily. And that's my stuff there. This is my setup. This is like, if you have, before this, you had to do like a wire, EPG, expression 2, all that stuff. I don't actually have it with me because I just got a new uh, motherboard. But um, it was really complicated. And a bonus of being, being that complicated, it showed on here on the gate dial string when somebody hit you with the um, gate overloader it would show the time but now it doesn't so that's what I have this set up for it'll show the time till overload it says one second now because it's technically negative one second should just does that I since it's not on it just defaults to one second and then overload percentage this will go up and then this will say like something like 30 minutes till uh, the gate goes overload so I do have a lot of I did have a lot of people asking me like how did you get it set up so that's why I'm creating this video hopefully they find it maybe I don't know but um yeah that's about it I don't have any and then this is easily set up this is just space build stuff should probably that wasn't good I just probably don't want to see me fiddling with this but Oh, there we go. I fixed it. It is simple. And then, yeah, there's my base. That's the Asgard beam. That's an Ori beam right there. All was good. This is a simple base I made. Just there. Well, um, I thank you guys for watching. Take your time to watch this video for an explanation. Uh, please like and subscribe for more content. And have a good day.